afternoon. Yeah, right. It's Thursday. So Thursday, what what's happened here? Um, <clears throat> so one thing I kind of learnt early on in my photography kind of sort of career was never rely on weather forecasts. Um, I should have had a shoot at 7am this morning, but early in the week it got cancelled or postponed, should I say, it will happen. Um, because they said that they've checked the weather and it's not right cracking. Seven o'clock I woke up, beautiful isn't it, but um, it was too late. So I, I've always had this thing of never checking the weather. I look out at window and see what happens and um, if it looks good then we could do it, if it's not then we don't. So yeah, that, that, was, um, that was how the day started, it should have been a shoot. Um, then at 9.30 I had another shoot and uh, this was a personal brand shoot. I'm not behaving myself, no inverted commas there. Um, <clears throat> this was a personal brand shoot with someone who's kind of booked it ages ago and, and she's been really like kind of keen to get it done. Um, obviously we've had lockdown part three to deal with but um, and then we, it was postponed the other day because of the rain. Uh, but yeah, it's... Um, I just wanted to do it so we met up and sometimes like you have to read people's initial body language I could tell that she was proper nervous she was really really nervous so she invited me kind of in for a cup of tea and I thought well I'm Yorkshire man I'll never say no to a bro and uh, we sat down and we just chatted and I found out loads about her and um, that just broke the ice and yes I did a lot more than I should have been doing, you know, like the hour turned into two and a half. But it's like, I know that because I've spent this extra time with her and we didn't have any time constraints, I know that we've got some nice pictures and it makes her feel good. And even looking at kind of, when I'm looking at someone, I can tell how nervous they are, like, and certain moves is like kind of make the make with like the body language. It's like sometimes it's very very subtle but I can tell they're just nervous so you've just got to break that and sometimes like the best way to do is uh, have a chat and listen and so yeah it's, it's been nice I've enjoyed it it's been you know she was really really fascinating really good person I know we'll continue kind of some kind of a business relationship and uh, we'll help each other out and that's how it should be I know she's going to love the pictures and she'll kind of buy the full gallery so sometimes it's worth checking the extra. I don't like too many time constraints when I'm working with someone because I don't like having a picture taken. Um, I'm not particularly keen on talking to a camera, but I'm, st I'm still having to do it. Uh, but, um, you know, you've got to take that time. You've got to make someone feel really good, really special. And I think that's kind of where I differentiate between a lot of others. You know, a lot of personal brand photographers <coughs> They're trying to get everything done in 15 minutes from like building a kind of a relationship to finding kind of where to do the show to just, you know, try to get something out of the customer. It's bang, 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 right, done. And nah, that's not my way. So if it takes longer than it's supposed to take, so what? It doesn't matter. It's about looking after your customer, doing something right and uh, yeah, doing a proper job. Um, I bet heck of a lot more work for myself because I've got you know a lot to cull um, and go through but I probably might I might go through culling tomorrow actually I might show you kind of my process and how I do it because I need to get much better of it at it because I'm I'm editing far too many pictures but uh, yeah that might be tomorrow's video we'll see we'll see how I feel right then um, I'm looking forward to just having a look through these pictures and then I've got school run and karate and uh, everything else to do. It's been emotional. <laughs>